Oh, fuck. Hello, everybody. 9% Rotten Tomatoes? Hey, it got better, I guess. It used to be 0%. Hello, everybody. Welcome on in. If you're not familiar with myself, my name is Skyheart. I'm part goat, part dragon. And good God, am I disappointed. As you can tell by the title, I watched the Borderlands movie. It was really bad. Would you say Roger Ebert's It Lasted 90 Minutes and It Was an Eternity Statement of Master of Disguise applies to this experience? I shit you not. I was trying to see if the boys from the Borderlands collab that we used to do was interested in watching this with me. The obvious answer was no. Or at the very least, it would have taken too long. And I just couldn't wait. I had to see. Because I, like many of you, have been seeing everybody bombing on this movie. And I couldn't help but be like, okay, how is it this bad? I found out how bad it was. The whole idea of it was 90 minutes but lasted an eternity, I shit you not, Armor was telling me I, that I would tap out at like 20 minutes. I checked the clock four times before it actually got to 20 minutes. Four times to see if 20 minutes had passed. It was so unbelievably bad. First off, you have such a weird cast going on here the main crew being tiny tina from borderlands 2 krieg a dlc character from borderlands 2 Rolin from borderlands 1 tanith and lilith from borderlands 1 i must know is this an introduction like how borderlands 1 or was or was it a story in between games neither it was his own story like entirely it was its own thing they didn't, it wasn't a prequel, it wasn't a sequel, it wasn't an in-between of any kind. It was literally its own fucking thing. The movie starts off with Lilith going to this city dive bar. Oh wait, no, 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 it doesn't even start with there. It starts with a jailbreak where Roland goes to save a very uncomfortably silent tiny Tina. This is where you're supposed to really hook us in, right? She was uncharacteristically quiet and very, like, meek. She was not the tiny Tina we all knew. We want to take the materials in a new direction. It's like a murder of crows landing just as you pass the San Mateo. Oh, my God, it really is. Like, it's... Wow. I don't know much about Borderlands, but isn't Tina loud and excitable? Yes. So no, so you want to hear a story. Well, a little. Because uh, we do get to see Marcus a little later with his bus calling Lilith a vault hunter. And Lilith is like, I'm not a vault hunter. Oh, don't you worry, vault hunter. And it's like, and then like she's getting all like, annoyed with getting called a vault hunter and he's super pressuring her about this whole idea of being a vault hunter and starts going over the whole so you want to hear a story <laughs> not watching it now from what i watched someone play borderlands tiny tina was my favorite yeah uh tiny tina was absolutely uncharacteristically not herself the whole like premise is that roland goes to save tiny tina from get this Oh, you, the people who played Borderlands, oh, you are going to have a really bad time with this one. Saves Tiny Tina from containment from the Atlas Corporation, from the president of the Atlas Corporation, her father. Yeah. Her father is the president of the Atlas Corporation. Oh, it gets so much more wild. As part of the premise, is she is a child of the Sirens. No, the Iridians. We don't actually hear the name Siren until the end of the movie. Did they write the plot via dartboard? That dartboard didn't exist. I don't know where they got it from. They did not get it in dartboard, though. Like, okay, I'm going to warn you right now. There's spoilers everywhere here. I'm saving you. I don't care. 
This is coming from a man who absolutely hates spoilers. I don't care that I'm going to spoil this for you. I am saving you. I want that to be clear. You know how much I hate spoilers. I'm saving you. Well, only four sirens can exist in the universe at a time. Yeah, well, we'll get to that. The premise is Roland goes to save Tina. Happens to run into Krieg there. He's just there, I guess. He decides to just trust Krieg and go along with it. Kevin Hart was not Roland. I made this comment when, like, originally I talked about, like, the whole cast and everything for Borderlands. I knew that Kevin Hart was not going to be Roland. Kevin Hart was absolutely not Roland. But here's the wild part about this. Here's something that really got me. They butchered Krieg too, right? I'm going to be real with you. I wouldn't call it butchered. Krieg in the movie was... Okay, what is it? Krieg was literally the bare minimum of what you understand of Krieg. Somebody who understands Krieg, tell me the bare minimum of him. If you know who Krieg is, if you know what a psycho is, what is the bare minimum you could possibly ask for? Oh man, wouldn't it be nice if he said meat bicycle? Damn. Sure would have been great if he said meat bicycle. The bare minimum understanding of the character Krieg. He is a psycho. He is big. And he shouts nonsense. That is the bare fucking minimum. That's what we got for Krieg. He was literally the bare minimum. But you know what? He was the most accurate representation of a character. I mean, except Claptrap, maybe. Except he wasn't as hated, I guess, in almost the most pathetic way. Was Jack Black at least a good VA? I'm going to be real with you, Chief. I'm going to be really real with you. I didn't even know it was Jack Black. Part of me feels like that's a good thing that I didn't even know it was Jack Black. Like, honestly, I, I, part of me considers that a plus that I didn't know it was Jack Black. It shouldn't have been Jack Black. He was an act. He was a voice actor. He sure was. He sure did voice claptrap. And like, here's the, th here's the wild thing about this. Like armor can attest to this. The thing that I was so surprised about, it's not even how horribly unfaithful this movie was to Borderlands. You get some neat little references here and there. It's so bad. The only reason why I even continued watching it was so I could at least just see it. So I could know how it goes from finish to end. And I'm going to be real with you. At some point at the 50 minute mark, my brain started tuning out. I don't remember a whole lot of the important details of the movie now. Like I start, like I was watching it and my brain just started to tune it out. The pacing is so unbelievably bad. Was it like that one critics review said where it was just like a 3 a.m. drunk chicken nugget order? That was unbelievably accurate for a critic. Like when you're going to a McDonald's at 3 a.m. and you're drunk as fuck and you go up you don't even have your car. You're at a window, knocking on it, trying to get chicken nuggets. I would understand if critics didn't like it because they didn't play Borderlands. But it's so bad. It is a cinematic shit fest. It is a complete disrespect to what a movie should be. The fact that this was not only greenlit, but actually, like, okay, everybody was there for a paycheck. Emotional, damn it. Like, it's so unbelievably bad. Nobody had their heart in this. Nobody played Borderlands. This isn't like with, uh, oh my God. What's the uh, Superman actor, Man of Steel? What's his name? Henry Cavill. You know how Henry Cavill was actually like kind of actually super into Witcher. You know how like, what was another one? 
I, I remember there was like another person, like an other actor who like saved a movie or a show because they were actually extremely faithful to it. Oh yeah, duh, Deadpool, fucking Ryan Reynolds. Uh, there was nobody in that cast. Nobody played Borderlands. I don't think the directors played Borderlands. I think they got cliff notes and just ran with it. The last airbender was better directed. Dragon Ball Evolution was better directed. I'm not even saying that to be extreme. This is actually a genuinely bad movie. This isn't about just being unfaithful. Dragon Ball Evolution was horrendously unfaithful. That's why it was so bad. Some of the acting, a bit weird, but the reason why Dragon Ball Evolution was so bad is because it was horrendously unfaithful. Here is my interpretation. Everybody, ha every critic has like their interpretation. Here is my interpretation of this. This was a pilot episode that lasted an hour and a half. You know how like a pilot episode is supposed to just give you the premise and then like if the uh, station likes it, they'll give you funding to make an actual show based off of that. This was a pilot episode that lasted an hour and 30 minutes. This is what that was. Pilot episodes generally don't go well. Like they're not actually well paced. They're supposed to just give you basically the cliff notes of what the premise of the show is supposed to be in a single shitty episode. This was an entire shitty movie that was unfaithful. They had names in it, but that was about the length of it. In the movie, they really like to try to allude to the idea that Tiny Tina is supposed to be the Iridian child, the chosen one, essentially a siren. And at one point, they even give a little fake out where uh, they're in an elevator. It's about to go crashing and Roland, Tina, Lilith, and Tannis all suddenly face shift into another area. And they think that that was Tiny Tina. And so they make you really believe that Tina is supposed to be the siren. And quite frankly, I believe that that's what they were trying to do. That was actually a twist to me. Because the way the writing was so bad, I thought that this was how hard they were shifting. I thought that this was how fucking unfaithful they were actually trying to be, which was I thought that they were actually going to make her a siren. I have never in my life actually was bamboozled into thinking that they were so unfaithful that the plot twist of Lilith actually being the siren somehow got me. Like, obviously, Lilith is supposed to be the Siren. She starts off as known as the Siren in Borderlands 1 at the very beginning. But she's not a Siren until the very end of the movie. Where it's a big plot twist. Oh, and how does she find out that she's secretly a Siren? When she finds the remains of her dead mother with a video com that tells her, You're meant for great things. They soup! I almost threw up. I actually almost threw up. They supermaned her ass. They actually kaleled her. Went to her home, quote unquote, or what was left behind for her, and was given the message from her dead mother that she was meant for greater things. That she was more. And that was supposed to be the reveal that she was a siren. It was so bad that it made Cannon blindside me. Yes! That's how f it was! That's how f bad it was! It was so bad, I got blindsided by the fact that they did something canon! I... I don't know how you do that! I have never in my life experienced something where I actually got blindsided by canon! Did she have siren tattoos at the end? She didn't have it at the beginning because she wasn't a siren in the beginning. It's so unbelievably bad. This sounds so bad. I want to watch and drink. Don't, don't go to the theaters. Don't go to the movies. Don't give them satisfaction. You are, if you're going to the movies, you're donating to the theater. You're not giving those people money. I believe the reviews on Rotten Tomato being 9% right now. I believed it when it was at 0%. Tiny Tina isn't anywhere near as energetic as she needs to be. The action is really weird. It's definitely got action in it. It's got some references here and there. 
but it's just it's so bad i'm still taken away by the fact that like i i'm actually beside myself with the idea that a movie was so bad and i believed so hard like heavy-heartedly that it was going to be so unfaithful that i actually got blindsided by canon like legitimately it's just shocking to me i started tuning out 50 minutes into it there was no brick there's no mordecai tannis is way too old she's not even goofy she's a little weird tannis is a little weird she was so unbelievably fucking mid she wasn't even quirky she wasn't fucking insane she's not even a siren well okay to be fair she didn't become a siren until borderlands 3 and even then i feel like that i still hate that i still hate the fact that she became a siren that they completely retconned how sirens work so the fact that she became a siren was fucking annoying to me but regardless I didn't even like the fact that she became a siren in like a lot of different ways. But here's the thing. I think Moxie was in it. Yeah, Moxie was in it. Moxie was okay. She had tits. She had an accent. She was bare minimum. Even Moxie, she had some screen time, but even then she was like bare minimum. And she had this weird relationship with Lilith, like with this whole thing about like, alluding to knowing her mom and everything and having like this whole relationship like oh you're again doing the superman shit no it's even worse it's doing the spider-man thing you are meant for great things did mox drop her accent and go back to hick by mistake no god i wish so in your opinion who is the truest character of the movie <sighs> krieg krieg was the most accurate he had the least amount of lines he was the bare minimum and he was the most accurate i hurt i i genuinely hurt from how bad this movie was i am a very big borderlands fan not only cinematically is this movie bad it is horrendously unfaithful the lore is absolutely fucked. the story of borderlands 3 made me angry the story in Borderlands, the movie, just disappoints me horrendously. I I don't even know, dude. Like, it's so unbelievably bad. Is it worth watching a Drunken Height? No. I can't remember who said it. Somebody in here said that their friend watched it for free and still wanted a refund. I want my hour and a half back. I wish I was asleep. I would have preferred being asleep. I wish I didn't watch it. I wanted it to be bad in a funny way of like, oh my God, ha ha ha. This is so unbelievably bad. I'm going to force all the Borderlands buddies to watch this. I don't want them to watch this. I, I don't want to put them through this. It's, they, they would get bored. I got bored. It's mid as fuck. It's so bad. To regret something that was free in a whole new lobe of bad. It's like, I don't think I could ever stress enough how bad it was. Like, because if it was funny bad, I would at least get something out of that. I would be able to go, ha, 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 this is so bad. Uh, no, I'm just hurt. I'm just absolutely hurt and disappointed. Fun fact, the writer wanted his name taken off the movie credits, but they refused. Good. He deserves to keep his name off there, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, my God, dude. So bad. So unbelievably bad. But they did take away the credit for the Claptrap artist. What? What do you mean they took credit away from the Claptrap artist? Like, the person who made the 3D model of him? Like, they took his design artist away? You know what? I call it a mercy. I wouldn't want my name on that shit. I would... I If I was a main actor, if I played as Roland, I would want my name off of there, too. I, I wouldn't want it on there. That shit would be a blight. Isn't the model based on a Borderlands 3 model anyway? I don't know. Probably. No. Might be based on it, but it's not, like the model you have to have an artist to like recreate that shit specifically for movies it's so bad i i don't even know what i want to do now like i just want to go to bed <laughs>